Considering that I have been using NATO unit symbols in my videos thus far, and plan on continuing to use them, I thought it would be useful to make a video describing what they mean. Also, as I will eventually, hopefully somewhat soon, make videos about more modern conflicts, that will require a whole new host of unit types. Let's get started. Infantry, a square or a box with an X in it. I have also seen this used as a generic symbol for all armed forces. Cavalry, a box with a single diagonal line. Often one half is shaded darker than the other for greater clarity, though as of yet, I have not done that. Artillery, a box with a single dot. Although for medieval and renaissance battles, I have been using this symbol for archers and other missile troops, and a picture of a cannon for artillery if need be. Those were the main units I will use for ancient up to early modern battles. As for the most part, though organization and technology certainly changed, the basic building blocks remain the same, with armies being composed of some combination of infantry, missile units, and mounted forces. Now getting to modern warfare, infantry, artillery, and to the extent cavalry were used, those symbols stay the same. There will be, however, a whole new host of different units. Armor, an irregular oval shape. To help remember, it looks a bit like a very stylized treads of a tank. Airborne, a simplistic wing shape. Think about a child's picture of a bird. Mechanized. An X and an oval. It looks like the normal infantry symbol with a stylized trad added to it. I'll admit I am still a bit confused as to the difference between motorized and mechanized. I'm pretty sure motorized could mean using any truck or vehicle for transportation, whereas mechanized implies the use of military purpose vehicles with off-road capability. Parachute. This looks a bit like an ice cream cone, but picture the top dome as being the parachute itself, and the two lines connecting to an invisible person below. Anti-tank. A rectangle with a triangle inside it. Anti-aircraft. A dot and a sort of half circle. Engineer. An E turned on its side. If it helps, also kind of looks like a bridge. Finally, units that designate specific levels of organization, which I will go over briefly. Company. Battalion. Brigade. Division. Corps. Army. Army Group. I will continue using NATO symbols in my videos, including when I eventually do modern 20th century conflicts, so I hope this was helpful.